So today we'll be changing tire on the G Max. This is um, Evian C Max. First of all, you start by removing the side reflectors, and you have three millimeter screws. One, two, three. You can remove these. So once removed, you have one four millimeter screw here and one here. So let's remove these. So once the tire has been removed, you can remove the valve here. Uh, sometimes they will have a lock here. If not, you can just uh, slide it out and the tire will actually come out pretty easily. You can use tire levers as well to uh, get it off the rim. Uh, once done, we will show you how to put back a new tube inside. Uh, just make sure to use either plastic levers or the metal ones if you don't have them and you should be able to get the tire off pretty easily. Sometimes there could be air in the tube, which will cause it to come out difficult. But what we will do, we'll just change the valve. Not should be easily. Best time is to check the tire as well. Make sure there is nothing inside, no debris or anything which actually caused the puncture and the condition of the tire. If it is fairly new, you can use it. Otherwise, best to replace the tire as well. So we'll put the valve here, put the tube a little bit inside the tire itself. Now, since this is an omnidirectional tire, you can use uh, any side. Sometimes you will have rotation mentioned on the tire as well so make sure you follow that or you can just put it here and it should be able to slide in now right now the tube is not going all the way straight so what we will do we'll just rotate it a little bit inside to make sure there are no pinches because that is what happens when you put the tube in and it doesn't sit correctly this is where actually the leak happened so now this is in i can see the tube is sitting fine with the tire So one trick is to use like a bottle, put the wheel on it and you can just put the whole thing back. Just with your hands. And just don't forget the spacers and give them a good cleaning. Check the bearing if it is okay as well. You can put the bear spacers inside and put the wheel back on so sometimes there is an issue like the tire is inflated too much that it touches the brake now you can either remove the brake or deflate the tire and pinch it in so you can put the disc between the brake pads so these are the two ways to put it back in now just tighten the screws and close it back <laughs> 